everybody this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot and we are out here in a beautiful field at this local preserve that I love to go to it's like seven o'clock at night right now and it's just the end of the day right so few people are here we have the breeze coming in as the sunset is approaching as you can see in the background so we're just gonna do a general reading here. I just wanna say hi to everybody that might be new. Welcome, happy to have you, and happy to have just hit 900 subscribers today. So thank you for that, very happy. Uh, I love being a tarot reader, for sure. So let's go ahead and do a general reading. Okay, so for some of you guys, you are coming out of what feels, yeah, you're seeking wish fulfillment after a really tough situation, 111, okay? That nine of cups, Jupiter in Pisces, right? This is the Tarot Nefertari, by the way. This is like the most gorgeous deck that I've seen. I absolutely adore this deck. So yeah, nine of cups is us seeking wish fulfillment, okay? We are ready to have our just happiness back, right? Because there's been a period of us not feeling so inspired, okay? Not feeling so inspired, not like just having to accept the fact that the life that we were living was falling apart completely, right? It's falling apart completely with that tower. You are ready at this time to get back into the energy of romance, okay? You're ready to have romance in your life. You're ready to just be affectionate and romantic again, okay? Because there's been some stagnancy for sure in that area, okay? For some of you guys, you've gone through a breakup, a divorce, a separation, a period of not dating, and you at this time are ready to start dating again, which is very exciting. Okay. Three of Swords. You've had enough heartbreak and while that pain is still there, right, you are ready to move forward because I will say the pain, it's almost like this Three of Swords right now is almost like that's just a scar, right? That's a scar on you right now, okay? And you've worked to heal that scar. But at the same time, we don't need to be fully healed before we step into new relationship, right? I think that's a fallacy here, right? You can't always be healed when you move into the next relationship. If anything, the next relationship has a beautiful means of healing you um, when you go into it, right? It actually heals you when you go into it, okay? There are times where you wonder if you're going to be able to have that new beginning, right? This can also be fear surrounding a new beginning, okay? Ace of Pentacles here. So we can be nervous about having a new beginning, right? We wonder, is this going to be the right thing? Am I going to have the success that I want to have, right? Am I going to be able to have a new beginning, okay? Tell me more. King of Swords in reverse, you, you don't want to come off as cold, okay? I'm going to be honest. That King of Swords can be a little bit cold, right? Can be a little bit angry. So just make sure that you're going into whatever situation that's going to come next with an open heart and an open mind because people will feel that slightly um, cold, like, standoffish energy right and you don't want to come off as standoffish okay you want to come off as open okay queen of swords right next to it interesting you are worried about manifesting creating attracting a similar person to who you were with last okay that queen of swords right after the king of swords you are worried about potentially creating the same situation, okay? Now, what I will say is if you create the same situation, 
God has lessons for you in that situation, okay? Lessons that you are not being asked to escape from. You're being asked to go into and the universe is going to, God, excuse me, right, is going to give you opportunity to heal those wounds through the new relationship, okay? So at a certain level, there's a book by, I believe it's Pema Children. Don't quote me on the art on the author, but pretty sure it's Pema Children. And there's the wisdom of no escape, okay? So at a certain point, you can't escape lessons that are going to come into your life through relationship. And what better place to teach us those kinds of lessons than through relationship, okay? We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you're weary about giving too much right away. You're worried that you're going to give too much and it's all going to go to waste, okay? Now, there is a quote that we all know, okay? And that is, the heart without love, right? I'm, it's not like an exact quote that I'm trying to remember, but... Better to have loved and lost than never loved at all, right? So you definitely want to make sure that you're not running away from giving because what if you give to the right situation and it all comes back to you tenfold because that person wants the same things that you want. They want the same things that you want, right? So just be mindful of that, okay? Don't worry too much about giving Okay, because the last thing that you want is someone that sees that you're not going to give that much right away. And but at the same time, though, at the same time, don't give too much right away. Right. You don't need to take somebody out on a, a weekend trip. Right. Right off the bat. We don't need to do that. That's not necessary. But treating someone to a nice dinner, treating someone to a nice coffee or a tea and paying for them. That's lovely. Right. And most feminines expect that from the masculine. Sorry to be sexist here but that's just the truth right that's nice to have something paid for okay and roles can be reversed here right seven of pentacles yeah and then slowly over time you'll start to invest more and see the fruits and see things kind of come along right that's great yeah investment here what's the advice for this person Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, if you do have some financial constraints, get that budget together, right? Get that budget together, okay? Money is important when it comes to dating. I hate to say it like that, but money is important, right? Having your own place, okay? More advice. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Hierophant in reverse, and the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Swords. Okay, so the advice is not everyone's going to be like your last partner, okay? Keep pushing forward, white, right? You, white. <laughs> so, not everyone's going to be like your past partner. Keep going, right? You, you're on a mission right now. You're on like a romantic love mission, okay? Don't be, don't give up is what this reading is trying to say. Don't give up. Love is available for you, right? Some commitment, right, that you were in that didn't work out, especially if it hit your confidence, right? We're having a breakthrough here. You're or You are going to break through that and your mental state of mind is going to clear up, okay? Understand that that was 9-11, a good lesson for you in life about what to expect in a relationship and you've actually raised your standards in that from that relationship, right? And you may have never addressed your standards in relationship before and now you are because of that. So that message was essentially saying that your last relationship was a blessing in disguise, okay? It taught you a lot. Three more cards from God to close it off. The Emperor, Seven of Swords, 
and the Five of Cups. Ooh, one more. The Star. Even though you've had betrayal, even though you could not trust, even though you've been disappointed, there is still hope. Okay? We have the Emperor, Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Star. There is still hope. There is still hope. Don't give up. Do not give up. There are so many people on the planet that want love. The same thing you want. And they're out there. And every time it didn't work, you're learning for when it actually does work. Okay? I hope this helps. Bye-bye.